Uh, good evening. Well, operationally, we're going to remain focused on this fire all through the night and all through the day. Um, we had a very difficult day, as, as Jerry explained, with the, the weather and the wind conditions. The fire was able to breach our primary and secondary containment lines, uh, wind aided, and the fuel conditions that we had, and move into Colorado Springs. In response to that, we activated the uh, structure protection forces that we had in the vicinity. We called on cooperators, neighbors, and, and all the other jurisdictions to send aid and help out. And I'll let Colorado Springs Fire Chief talk to some of the stuff that they were able to provide. Um, we were also able to reallocate some assets because as the wind blows, the, the downwind side had a little bit less of an impact. We shuffled the existing resources where we could to provide as many people actively engaged on this. We also got in some extra resources that we had had on order for exactly these kind of things. We had three strike teams of engines come in. That's a strike team is five engines, and we threw them into the mix. We moved three Type 1 hotshot crews over out of uh, one of our divisions um, and brought them down in there, and they're going to be out there all night. Um, we are continuing to bring in aerial resources to fight this fire. Um, we have had two Type 1 heavy helicopters flying on it. We are bringing in two more and trying to snag a third one to come in for a total of five that we can get up there flying on this tomorrow in, in close air support. Um, we are looking at where the fire is in terms of where it's moved to. We have an infrared flight tonight that will help us look through the smoke and get accurate perimeters for the fire on which we can base our activities for tomorrow morning and help us throughout the night. That flight should occur about 2,300 hours and we'll have a better estimate on, on acreage at that time for you. Um, so we are going to continue to to plan as to where we got to be out in front of this thing, where we have opportunities to be successful, and we're really going to focus operationally on, on safety, both of the public and of the firefighters, and try to put our personnel in a position where they can do the most good to effect, effectively fight this fire and get it into containment status. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to continue to bring in those troops. We're going to continue to assign them to the places where they'll do you the most good. And with that, I turn it over to Rich from the, the Colorado Fire Department, Colorado Springs. Thanks, Rich.